A year after they were treated like rock stars as they arrived in Liège, Belgium, it's time for a group of students from Chapel Hill to return the favor. This is the American piece of an exchange program between Smith Middle School and San Benoit saint Servais School in Belgium. Students like Shirley Ducanet will be hosting Belgians and introducing them to life in America. And even though we come from different backgrounds, there are a lot of similarities. And a strong common experience. As her host student, Maureen Damoulin, sits at the table with Shirley and her family, Shirley knows exactly what she's going through. A year ago, it was Shirley who was seated in the guest's chair at Maureen's house in Belgium. I know how she feels because I went through the same thing when I was there last year. I feel bad for her when I'm talking with my friends in English, and she probably doesn't understand that much of it. But that's not to say Maureen isn't picking up English quickly. She may be watching King Kong with the French subtitles, but Maureen will go back to Belgium with much stronger English language skills. Sometimes I don't understand what they say, but uh, now it's, uh, it's easy. For my parents, they want a uh, high speaker English. Down by the banks. Last year in Belgium, Jane Barnett Lawrence and Melissa Moores taught each other songs to get acquainted. Even though they spoke different languages, they still got to be good friends. Their reunion this year is exciting. It's great, it brings back memories, but it's so different being here in home territory now. Jane says she's put a lot more preparation into the trip this year, especially now that she knows what it's like to be the one visiting. I tried as hard as I, as hard as I could to know all the things that I would need to know when she came over here, like, are you happy, are you hungry, are you cold? There's sort of a home field rule in this exchange program. Last year, the visiting Americans were expected to speak French. This time, the burden's on the Belgians to communicate in English. I think it's quite nice being here and improve uh, our English, because um, I think it will be useful in the future. They have to be to adapt themselves to the way of life, and they have to be flexible. They make more progress in 10 days here than in a whole year. But the Americans are benefiting here, too. All these students take French and they're expected to speak it some to the students they're hosting. The American student in the family is supposed to be the helper, the translator, the, the, the one who helps make the Belgian feel at home. And the Belgian is supposed to try to speak English and interact. You practice it in class and it's not the same, it's not the same thing. You're just saying it out loud to yourself. You're not actually talking to somebody. In addition to the time they're spending with host families in Chapel Hill, the Belgians are joining their American friends in Black Mountain on shaky ropes designed to strengthen their relationships. On one part, we had to like lean on each other and help each other move to like the next section. Through a weekend's worth of tie-dyeing shirts, sprinting across fields and more low-key interactions, the students are deepening the way they see themselves and the world they live in. Everybody has the same sort of lifestyle. You just have different materialistic things around you. You know, they got kids that play basketball, want to go to, you know, the European League. You know, they got kids that swim, just like we got kids that swim here. People playing tennis, all kinds of sports. You got drawers, painters, you know, that they just speak a different language. They, I really think that, you know, they're the same. They just speak a different language. They're different. They see life a little differently and that it's not, the life doesn't revolve around them so much anymore, that they think about other people, other things, other ways of doing things, and they'll carry that with them for a long time. This is the first journey to America for nearly all of the Belgians. Much of what they think about the U.S. comes from Hollywood. When you see something on television about America, it's always something unusual or shocking or violent, you know, or, and some people tend to think that Americans are, you know, crazy people violent people, you know, or, and it's not true. I, to, I always told them, you have never met ordinary people. Come to America and you will meet ordinary people and you have a different vision of America. Buildings are huge and quite new. Uh, it's not the same as in Belgium where all buildings are quite small and really old. In Belgium, uh, we give kiss when we saw somebody we know. Here, you just check or do the hack. We never check in Belgium. We just give kiss. 
I like uh, the sport, uh, soccer, baseball, um, and the food is uh, really good. I like uh, pizza and pasta. <laughs> How about chocolate? Oh, I like it very much. As good as Belgium? No, it's better in Belgium. <laughs> But plenty of things, like the music they listen to, the Chuck Taylor Converse shoes they wear, and the video games they play, are the same, whether the students are in North Carolina or Belgium. Oh, good job. The teachers who organize the exchange program say it's giving their students lessons that last well into their adult years. It's very satisfying, very satisfying. The biggest satisfaction you can get as a teacher, I think. We've been doing this program now for 10 years and there are a number of students who still keep in contact with their Belgian exchange and families have crossed the ocean to visit each other. Once in a while I'll get an email from somebody who's 22, 23, I'm going to Belgium to visit my Belgian pen pal and just wanted you to know and that means the world to me.